Welcome to another episode of Interactive Biology TV, where we're making biology fun. My name is Leslie Samuel, and in this episode, episode 19, I'm going to be answering the question, what is summation? And I'm going to talk about the two types of summation. So let's get right into it. Summation is basically the addition of postsynaptic potential. To illustrate this, I'm going to draw our membrane potential graph with membrane potential on the y-axis, E sub M, and time on the x-axis. And I'm going to start with our resting membrane potential somewhere around negative 70 millivolts. So let's say this is negative 70. Now we've spoken about threshold and we said that in order for there to be an action potential, the membrane potential needs to reach that threshold and I'm going to say that's around negative 55 millivolts. So an action potential comes down an axon, it reaches the axon terminals, neurotransmitters are released and that causes an excitatory postsynaptic potential in the postsynaptic cell. What you're going to see there is there's going to be a little bump in the membrane potential. Now we know that the threshold is up here, so that bump is not going to be enough to cause an action potential. So what needs to happen is we get an excitatory postsynaptic potential, and before the first one finishes, another one comes along, raising the membrane potential even more, and that process continues over and over until eventually we have enough stimulation to cause the membrane potential to reach threshold and then we get the action potential with our depolarization, our repolarization, our hyperpolarization and then the action potential is finished. So that's what we're talking about with summation. We're basically adding these postsynaptic potentials. Uh, remember, sometimes we can get excitatory postsynaptic potentials. We can get inhibitory uh, postsynaptic potentials that bring our membrane potential even farther away from the threshold. But we're basically adding them so that we can reach that negative 55 millivolt threshold and cause an action potential. With that understanding, let's look at the two types of summation. We have temporal summation and we have spatial summation. And I'm going to do a drawing to illustrate both. With temporal summation, what we have is a presynaptic neuron. So let's just draw an axon and I'm going to simplify it by making it just one axon terminal. And that makes a synapse with a postsynaptic neuron. So here's my neuron, here we have the soma, and here we have the axon. And what happens is a signal comes along this axon, comes to the axon terminal, releases neurotransmitter, and that causes an excitatory postsynaptic potential in this cell. And that is where we see uh, the first bump. Now, if it sends that signal and it sends another one quickly and another one quickly and another one quickly and it continues doing that, that's going to cause the membrane potential to go up and up until it reaches the threshold and causes the action potential. This is temporal summation. Now that's different from spatial summation. With spatial summation, we have an axon here, and I'm just going to draw one axon with one terminal. Of course, that's simplified. That connects to another neuron. However, we also have another axon that comes and we have an axon terminal that connects to the same neuron. And what's going to happen here is this one can cause a signal, cause an excitatory postsynaptic potential, and before that dies off, we can have another signal coming from this other cell. So we have two separate neurons causing responses in this cell and of course we get the same result where the membrane potential goes up and when the next one fires it goes up again and this one can fire again that causes it to go up and then it eventually reaches the threshold 
causing our action potential. That is spatial summation. So an easy way for you to remember this, at least this is what works for me, spatial summation is separated by space, okay, because we have two separate neurons that are firing. Temporal summation is the same neuron firing, but each signal is separated by time. So temporal summation separated by time, same neuron. Spatial summation is separated by space because there are two separate neurons. That's all the content for this video. We've looked at the two types of summation and we've answered the question, what is summation? If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below and I'd be happy to get to it. That's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.